blessings to you. This is Prophet Isaac Amata, the 13th day in the month of March 2022, with a very powerful, timely, insightful revelation message to the blessed nation of Zambia as regarding the ongoing current situation of suicide and frequent accidents that is happening in the nation of Zambia right now. It is not of the Lord. It is not normal. There are many people that are saying, what is going on about this accident? Accident here, accident there, accident here, suicide. Well, you know what they call suicide. Somebody does wake up, take his life, or does go to the road, put himself in front of a, of a, of a vehicle, and then he's dying. The question is this. Well, uh, are there not deaths? Are there not accidents? Are there not suicide? Yes, there is. But when something becomes beyond the normal, then people begin to ask questions and say, what is going on? Now, the last week of February, the Lord gave me the revelation on this issue. And then I prayed about it and I prayed the second time. I said, God, this issue of suicide and the accident that is going on, what is the root of it? Because you see, everything has a root. The Bible says in the book of Amos chapter 3 verse 7, God cannot do anything except he revealed his secrets to his servant, a prophet. Every problem has a root. This is what God revealed to me, what is going on and the solution. Because he's wanted to say, this is the problem, this is, the, this is what I saw. What is the way out? Number one, the Lord revealed to me that there is sacrifice. <laughs> there is what? Sacrifice. Behind this accident, this death, and this suicide. It's not normal. There what? Sacrifice. Now, you say, Prophet, what is sacrifice? The Lord showed me six altars. These altars, they cry for blood. Because you know anything about sacrifice involves blood. Anything about altar involves blood. The Lord said to me, revealed to me, six altars. And these altars were erected. These sacrifices on these six altars were done in 2021. In what? 2021. And you know when sacrifices are done for certain reasons. What I saw is that some within the nation with some outside are involved in this sacrifice. Now, the Lord said, the nation of Zambia must pray. What is the, two, what is the prayer? Two prayers. One, Lord, expose the root of this sacrifice. Because the Lord told me that this accident, accident, accident here, accident, this Lusaka, accident, yes, have, there have been accidents in the past. But this is beyond, is this one, especially in this 2022 is not normal, is beyond normal. Accident here, accident there, accident in Lusaka, as, no, this one come as suicide, this one, suicide is something there. So, six altars, six sacrifices done last year. When last year? Pray. Lord, review the root of the sacrifice those behind the sacrifice, the purpose of the sacrifice, bring it to light. Because the Lord said, if the people of Zambia will pray, things will come out. Number two, the Lord showed me that with these altars, I saw these six altars in six places of the nation. Whenever these altars with the sacrifice crying for blood, then you see accident here. Then you see accident here. Then you see suicide there. Somebody can say, oh, what are you saying? What is this man saying? You may say, oh, what is he saying? It does not matter. Accident happened. The suicide happened. No. Everybody in Zambia know that is not normal. I'm not telling you what God showed me. Because God reveals. 
The Lord said, when they pray that first prayer, when I mean pray, the nation, because Zambia is a Christian nation, pray, God will begin to expose. Because nothing, no matter, the Bible said, nothing that is hidden that will not be exposed. God himself will expose, because our God is a, revel is a God of revelation. It's not the me that we expose. God says when they pray, when, they, when the people of Zambia pray, the Christians, they, they join hand and pray. So this is an assignment to the church, to the Christians in Zambia, to pray. Number two, the Lord says, way out. First prayer to increase national prayer. One, to expose. Two, to destroy those altars. Because the Lord said, if these prayers are not done, and done quickly, this thing is going to continue. Because you see, it is the sacrifice that was done. I repeat it. The inside with outside. Now, what happens? Altars were done. Sacrifice were done. And the altars have been positioned. These altars have been positioned and the altars are crying for blood. Anytime this altar cry, because you see, whenever I said sacrifice involve blood, altars involve blood. And whenever these altars are crying, sacrifice are crying, blood, you know, accident here and there. I want to say it again. I'm not saying that uh, uh, accidents are not normal, but the one that is going on now is not normal. You know it. God is just speaking about it. Increase national prayer. Yes, there's a national day of prayer, but when I mean, I said the nation must rise and say, God, this thing must stop. The root must be exposed. Secrets must come out. No more death in the nation of Zambia. It's a Christian nation, a blessed nation. Lives are important to God. One, exposure. Two, destroy the foundation. Oh Lord, destroy the evil altar. Then finally, three. Stop the roots. No more death. This is what God revealed to me in the month of February. And I prayed over it. The Lord said, give this message. And as the nation of Zambia will follow, certain things will be exposed. This thing was done in 2021. The, what you are seeing in the physical is as a result of what has happened by those sacrifices. Sacrifices are powerful. Either to God or to the devil. When sacrifices are done to dark powers, they call for blood. And then you see these things that are going. If you say these things are just normal, well, God has spoken. Be blessed, nation of Zambia. 13th day in the month of March. God will fight for Zambia. Accidents will be arrested. Secret will be exposed. The root will be brought out to the public. God's name will be glorified. The nation of Zambia is blessed. God is saying something. Shalom from Prophet Isaac Amata. Amen. Amen.